Once you change one thing, your mindset, you can attack everything. With success in life comes more haters. Don't make them hurt your feelings. Use them for fuel. Use them for energy. In times of need, put them on mental Rolodex in your mind. And when you don't want to do shit, roll through your brain. Pull up that person who said you couldn't do something. Work fast enough, good enough, smart enough. Use it for energy. Instead of killing them with kindness, torture them with success. In life, we have to continue pushing past the odds. Use everything this world has to give you for fuel. Stay hard. I'm in search for a few. I'm not in search for a trophy. I'm not in search for love. I'm not in search for more followers on Instagram or social media. But I started this journey years ago and I realized that I'm going to be somebody and I'm searching for a feeling, a feeling of true victory for myself and only myself. The second I shut out the whole world and realized that one thing, that I am in this world alone. So it's that quiet place. It's that place by yourself. It's those hours and years and decades by yourself in the grip of life. When life has you by the throat and choking you out and you're sitting there calm because you're trying to figure it out. You're not panicking. You're not quitting. You're not throwing in the towel. You're saying there's a way around this. And when you figure it out, when life has you gripped in advice and you can figure that out, that's when you overcome. That's when you overcome. The journey getting there was harder than going through it. Yeah. You know? So that's the whole thing about life, man. It's, it's, it's that journey that, that makes you who you are. All the energy and fuel you need is right in yourself. It's all there. You got a lot of stuff to do to overcome. And, you know, that's where I found it. I found it right there in my own insecurities. I found drive in my own insecurities. And that's, that's the most powerful thing in the world. When you can find drive in your own doubt, fear, insecurities, you become very unstoppable. I like suffering in the way that is competitive, yeah. that brings out the absolute best in me and in everybody else. I want to see what you're made of. I want to see like almost like the Coliseum in Rome. You can't do it by writing a paper. And what I found out, and the only message I want to get across to people is once you change one thing, your mindset, you can attack everything. Hmm. A true dog mentality, I have a dog at home. He never gets full. It's not enough to make to the NFL. It's not enough to win a 5K. Win a 10K. It's not enough you became a doctor. Be a better doctor. It's not enough you lost 50 pounds. Go out there and do something with it. Guess what? We're going on nine out here, but guess what? It's not enough. Stay hard. People know how do you keep grinding every day? You have to make those insecurities, those fears. Like when I was 300 pounds, I didn't have any drive. I was an insecure, lying kid, afraid. I had to look in my insecurities and in my fear and find drive in that. We're all looking for passion. Passion's all around you. My goal in life was to, in my mind, believe I'm the hardest man alive. And that's why the whole thing is can't hurt me. That's what it's about. It's about whatever you think you are, you have to make that dream the reality. That's where the hard part is. So what's the great divide of human beings? Who are you on those days you don't want to do things? It's easy to conquer when it's good weather. You got good sleep. Work's going good. The family's good. You feel great. Your body's not injured. Those are the easy days to conquer. But who are you on those fucking days when all hell's broke loose? 
body's fucked up. You're sore. You're depressed. You're miserable. You're not the favorite person at school. You might be getting bullied. You might be falling behind in life. Who are you on those days? When shit's all fucked up. That's the great divide. Those people who get up on those days when everything's fucked up and still grind. That's the separator right there. People don't want to see you better than them. That's what it comes down to. You make them feel good about themselves when you're fat and lazy. And you make them feel like shit when you come from the depths of hell and decide to fucking make it. There's enough food and pie for everybody to eat. Don't hate a motherfucker because he works harder than you. Stay hard.